Welcome to Let's Make This. Today I'm going to show you how to create split sections like this in Squarespace without having to touch a single line of code using SquareKicker's section layout tool. The powerful thing about SquareKicker is not only the speed in which it takes to create this, but the ability to uniquely design your site for different size screens. Alright, let's make this. So the first thing you want to do is head into your page and create all of your sections. As you head down your page, create each section as if you're going to want to split it later on. In the upper right hand corner of your section, click on the SK button which brings up your section tools, then click into layout. In your section layout tools, you'll find a grid of icons displaying how you can change your section width. Each one of these is displayed as a fraction or a percentage. When you click on the width icon, your section will immediately change to the preferred width. As you can see, when I reduce the width of my section to 25% or a quarter, this left a void to the right of my section. However, when I change the section below to 25% as well, it floated up to fill the void. If you have a background image, your image will become skewed at first. Don't worry, this will rescale as soon as you refresh or resize your screen. Here's an example of how you would do a 50-50 split screen by selecting 50% on each section as you work down the screen. You can create all sorts of section layouts with this tool. One section can be a third and the other can be two thirds. Or you can create a section that's 25% and the other section is 75%. Changing how your site looks on a different size screen is easy with SquareKicker's device toggle. It's important to note that every change you make on SquareKicker affects all devices unless otherwise specified. All changes with SquareKicker are cascading, which means it affects the current device you're on and flows down to the smaller ones. For example, if you're on all devices, every change will affect every device, including the mobile. However, if you select tablet, all changes will affect the tablet and mobile, but won't affect the desktop and laptop views you will see the previous size change. This means that now everything you make in SquareKicker will affect this device and smaller. Note this is different from Squarespace's device preview, which only is meant to change the size of the screen. As you can see here, I've designed my sections to be 25% on desktop, but my sections are too narrow in tablet. I've gone ahead and changed my sections in tablet to 50%, but this also means that 50% will be applied to my sections in mobile so I have to switch over to my mobile toggle as well and change them to 100% if I prefer them to span across the entire screen. Alright, and now for a final test. As I switch between my screen sizes, I can see each individual section has a square kicker change as I toggle through my devices. This is only a taste of what you can create with Square Kicker. Bring your unique designs to reality right inside Squarespace with less time, no code and no worries.